Stealth Jet F-35B Lightning are now embarked on the both of British Royal Navy new aircraft supercarriers HMS Queen Elizabeth and HMS Prince of Wales for the first time, in an historic moment for the Royal Navy. Britain has taken a big step towards a two-strike carrier navy with the debut of the F-35B Lightning stealth jets aboard HMS Prince of Wales. Taking place off the south coast of England, the milestone marks a significant step towards the 65,000-ton vessel reaching full operational capability. F-35B Lightning stealth jets from the Royal Air Force touched down on HMS Prince of Wales as part of their maiden visit to the £3.2 billion aircraft carrier, which is currently undergoing trials of the south coast with Apache gunship helicopter from 656 Squadron, 4 Regiment Army Air Corps. The stealth fighter touched down for the first time on the deck of the second of Britain's new aircraft carriers on a calm, clear day off the south coast of England. HMS Prince of Wales manoeuvred into position to accept the aircraft which touched down on the sprawling flight deck with precision amid an air of excitement from the ship's company. The milestone means that both of the Royal Navy two new aircraft supercarriers now have planes on board for the first time, with 18 of the high-tech jets currently embarked on HMS Queen Elizabeth in the Mediterranean. It was a real honour to be the first pilot to land the F-35B Lightning stealth jets on HMS Prince of Wales, said Royal Air Force Squadron leader Will of 207 Squadron from Marham. With all the training that we have previously undertaken with HMS Queen Elizabeth we are now looking forward to using that experience and knowledge as we work with HMS Prince of Wales as she moves towards her full operational capability. Shortly after the first landing, the first takeoff, Lieutenant Commander Ben, also from 207 Squadron, the Joint Royal Air Force Fleet Air Arm Formation dedicated to teaching fast jet pilots how to fly and operate the stealth fighter, powered along the deck and leapt skywards courtesy of the carrier's iconic ski ramp, blazing the trail for thousands of similar launches over the next half century. The jet and ship are carrying out sea acceptance trials which test the ship's ability to not only receive and launch the jets but also maintain near-continuous air operations. The stealth fighter shared the deck with three Army Air Corps Apaches, embarked before Prince of Wales departed Portsmouth. Overseeing both maiden landing and takeoff was Captain Darren Houston, the Portsmouth based HMS Prince of Wales commanding officer, who hailed a significant milestone in the Royal Navy rebirth of carrier strike group operations. It is a tangible reflection of the enormous collective effort from the aircraft carrier enterprise to deliver the Royal Navy second aircraft carrier. I am particularly proud of the contribution made by my ship's company in developing this world-leading, sovereign capability and we look forward in earnest to rapidly growing our experience operating the F-35B Lightning stealth jets through further trials and training later this year. The news was passed on to Commodore Steve Morehouse, commanding the UK's carrier strike group from on board HMS Queen Elizabeth in the Mediterranean. He said that the strategic significance of the F-35 Lightning stealth jets operating from Prince of Wales as well as the flagship was profound. 
He continued, building one aircraft carrier is a sign of national ambition. But building two and operating them simultaneously is a sign of serious national intent. It means Britain has a continuous carrier strike capability, with one vessel always ready to respond to global events at short notice. Few other navies can do that. Britain is back in the front rank of maritime powers. The Ministry of Defence Secretary Ben Wallace said, the vital partnership between HMS Prince of Wales and our F-35B Lightning Stealth Jets aircraft signifies a momentous milestone in the capability of the fifth-generation carrier, marking another step towards it becoming fully operational. The first jet landing is a huge achievement for all involved and showcases the collaboration across the United Kingdom Armed Forces and our impressive carrier strike capabilities. The F-35B Lightning Stealth Jets is designed to operate alongside Royal Air Force Typhoon aircraft and is jointly operated by the Royal Navy and Royal Air Force. It forms a central role within the United Kingdom carrier strike capability, already operating from HMS Queen Elizabeth and will be operating for the first time overseas as part of the Carrier Strike Group 21 deployment.